and we back. Lock in, ladies and gentlemen, because we are accepting every trade until we win a championship. There's only one little caveat. At the beginning of every season, I can make one trade that I think will help benefit the roster. The goal is to win the championship faster than, than normal. Because we've done a video like this in NBA 2K21, I want to say, and it took me about two hours. I don't remember how many seasons it was, but it was a lot of simulation. So me adding this extra element of me being able to make a trade should help that out a lot. Today's video is brought to you by GLD. To complete your look and get 33% off your GLD order, hit the link in the description. GLD was founded on the idea that everyone should be able to afford high quality jewelry pieces to complete their looks. I mean, you can kind of see me right now. I, I, I think this kind of puts it together. GLD is made with real gold that is built to last. Their manufacturing process and attention to detail is the best in the game. GLD has custom pennants and partnerships with the NBA, the NFL, the MLB, Marvel, Activision. The list goes on, ladies and gentlemen, which means that if you you wanted to rep your favorite team it is extremely simple and extremely affordable god offers a lifetime warranty so if there's anything wrong with your jewelry they got you covered the piece that i have on is the round cut tennis necklace and as you can see it is about as clean as can be so to not miss out and complete your look hit the link in the description so you can get 33 percent off your first order with gld i want to say thank you to them again for sponsoring another video so the grizzlies had the 15th overall pick we'll take that smack dad in the mid middle of the nba Let's see who we end up having. The, the one trade I, I do per year has to be like a super blockbuster or whatever. Um, so we did turn off salary cap because I wanted to be in a world where I be able to trade LeBron for uh, Marco Shamanis. You know what I'm saying? If that's what the opposing GMs want to do. And then we also turned up trade frequency to 100, which means that we should be getting a ton of trades. We have Donovan Mitchell, Drew Holiday, Tobias Harris, Cam Johnson. Okay. So this team is not good, um, which it's fine because we can do one trade. I want to low-key try to do like a three-teamer to make that one trade beneficial for, for a long time. So let's see what I could potentially do. Let's say since there's no contracts that matter, we can throw two basically max players together in a first-round pick. Getting a guy like Scotty Barnes and, and Dyson Daniels helps this challenge a ton because they both so young. But the only thing is, I can't say that they both going to end up on the team long term because I'm accepting every trade. Maybe we should think more uh, short term, go get Bradley Beal or Pascal Siakam. We already got Donovan Mitchell, though, so maybe that's not the perfect trade. But, you know, maybe we should just prioritize the now. So this trade will pair up Maxi, Mitchell, Bam, and Sadiq. Um, I don't think it's going to work. Both, <laughs> both teams are genuinely not interested. What if I flop the picks? Because it's, it's sometimes it's weird like that. Both teams are not interested. Okay, what if I flop some players around? Both teams are not interested. Okay, the big three-team trade is not going to happen. So we need to, to settle on a different one. Can I somehow get Cat for Tobias Harris? They won't die. <laughs> I, I respect your hustle for trying to get Donovan Mitchell, but it ain't going to happen. But I will give you Killian Hayes. And I will give you, we got too many centers. I'll give you the best one, which is Ennis Freedom, one and a half star value. You give us back Greg Brown, who also has one and a half star value. So that doesn't make any sense to y'all. All I will say is that I wish that Killian Hayes was more valuable in the game of 2K. Is that slanderous? I don't think it is. Uh, we give him one first round pick. We give him two first round picks. Give him three first round picks, potentially. That is the one trade we're going to be doing for this first year. Um, and we're going to move Cat over to the five, go back to the natural position. So the starting lineup is Drew Holiday, Donovan Mitchell, Harrison Barnes, Cam Johnson, Cat. And off the bench, we have Grant Williams, DeLon Wright, and his freedom, who minutes I'm going to take away because, again, we got a lot of centers. I should have thrown one of those centers in this trade low-key uh, and kept one of the wing players. But I can just give Donovan Mitchell 40 a game. I can give close to 40 for, for our really good people. And let our starters play a lot of minutes. Simple. Again, the goal is to win as quickly as possible. So, uh, if that means maxing out the minutes for our top guys, so be it. And here we go. We win in a bunch of games to start off with. We still haven't seen the trade offer, which, um, great. You know, trying to win a championship, trade away the second best player on the roster, or one of the top three players on the roster. We get back a, a good rookie, though. Good rookie in a first round pick. Confirm that trade. Just like that, Drew Holiday is gone. And uh, now we have DeLon Wright starting. We was complaining about not having depth outside of the center position. And just like that, we just, you know, 
messed all of that up. But listen, if Sharp can stay on this roster, which I, I can't confirm or deny if he's gonna be able to, that, I mean, in six years, whoo, in six years, we're gonna be nice. Keep it moving, see what the next trade ends up being. And that is Cam Johnson and George Hill for Cameron Payne and Jared Vanderbilt. That's kind of a wash of a trade. Yeah, we lose some three-point shooting to Cam Johnson, but you know what? Cam Johnson's probably upset anyway, because that's what Cam Johnson does. He's just, he's just naturally a, a mad dude in the game of 2K. Jer Vanderbilt is being traded away for do, 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 another center. Yes, sir. Oh, snap. We getting the first round pick and Bobo. Like the, the good thing about the auto trades is that a lot of the times those teams, matter of fact, I'm just going to release these two dudes. I don't need both of them and they're making minimums. They're just making things difficult. The auto generated trades usually have other teams give up a bunch of draft picks. So the good thing about it is, you know, we just stat piling draft picks. We might get the first overall pick eventually just from accepting other GMs like this one. I mean, we're, we're getting Lance Stevenson back, born ready, not in the league currently. Um, and our starting small forward as of right now is Wendell, Wendell Moore Jr., you know? So, yeah, we, we live in life, you know? We still have one of the best teams in basketball, though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, oh, look at that. Two first-round picks for Lance Stevenson. I'm taking all of these. Now we got Bo Cruz starting at the three. Guess what? I don't know if it will matter. Because we, oh, okay, there's, oh, okay. I forgot to turn off trade deadline for year, oh, my God, there's some more first-round picks. The Knicks have... Do we have every Knicks pick imaginable? Hold on. We got 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027 from the Knicks. We've made like three trades with the Knicks already. Shout out to them. <laughs> Shout out to the Knicks. Um, I forgot to turn off trade deadline for the first year, but I, I'm going to turn it off for year number two. So once we get past February 9th, whatever team we have is the team we run away for the rest of the, the season. And it might be for good. For good. I mean, here we go. We are one of the best teams in basketball. I'm assuming that a lot of that is Donovan Mitchell just playing out of his mind. 38, 6, and 5, 55, 40, 40 something. 91 is crazy. Cat, we got Jabari Parker starting. Oh, man. All right, well, I'll see you at the end of the season because I don't think we're going to get a trade in the last day. So, Donovan Mitchell has all those points on one of the best teams in basketball. And Luka just adds a triple double and take it all away. Cannot believe it. Um, all NBA team, second team. He averaged 37, six, he averaged 37 on 50, 40, 90, and wasn't good enough because Trey Young averaged more assists. But you won 50, 40, 90 because you missed too many free throws. Luca wasn't 50, 40, 90. But I bet you Luca's on the defensive team. Yeah. I'm so confused how that's still a thing, 2K. We're a month into the all over a month into the game. Um, either way, we were the three seed this year, so shout out to us. I don't think we're good enough to win a championship, which is good because if we win a championship this season, there we go, it feel like I would have cheated because the trade deadline was off. You know what I'm saying? So now we go in, we change the trade deadline. Okay, Luca, you deserved MVP, my boy. Yeah, you deserved it. You deserved it. There we go. He just proved it. Donovan Mitchell wasn't worthy. Abolish the trade deadline. Boo. Abolish is such a strong word to me. Abolish the trade deadline. So we are the Memphis Grizzlies. We don't have any projected um, things in here, so whatever. Uh, we simulate the entire, the entire offseason. Offseason free agency signings, field the roster, player wave. So this is what our team looks like going into year number two. Um, Cam Reddish is on the roster along with Jalen McDaniels. Sharp is now the sixth man of the team. We got Matisse Steibel. We got Mo Wagner. And Isaiah Harden started to get better even though he was on fire, seemed like, for the good majority of that season. We've been accepting every trade along the way. They were small. 77 overall for 76 overall. This is the biggest trade we've been offered so far. It is Cat for John Collins, Kevin Porter Jr. We throwing in Amir Kofi, the barista. And, and just like that, we just traded away Carthony Towns and got worse, if you ask me. I mean, now we got a real point guard, I guess. Our point guard position before that was Saban Lee who wasn't having a terrible season, but we got Kevin Porter Jr. and John Collins, who's averaging 19. Donovan Mitchell is still having a great season, not as great as last season, but still a great season. And Sharp is now starting. Shout out to him. But yeah, we still been winning games, though. Right now, we are sitting um, about the four seed or so. Remember, we're going until we win a championship. So I feel like I've been very slow in these first couple seasons. It's, it's going to wrap up because I know it's going to take some... <gasps> I forgot to make my trade. Okay, I'll, I'll avoid it this season. At the beginning of every season, Kenny, you make a trade. I forgot. To, oh, oh, just like that. We're trading John Collins for Ben Simmons and Tyus Jones. There we go. 
I forgot my own rule, and that's setting us back. Okay, well, Ben Simmons is coming off. No way. Ben Simmons is starting at the four. I refuse. He's starting at the four. Um, but wow. All right, we continue to sim. Next season, I will remember to make a trade. Uh, we got all of those draft picks from the Knicks, too. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see what the Knicks direction looking like after trading me every pick in their franchise history. They are a good team. They're a playoff team. All right, whatever. Whatever. Those picks ain't as valuable as I thought. But it all it goes all the way to 2027. So maybe. The literal last day of the season, we're trading Harrison Barnes for Xavier Tillman. And just like that, we got through the season. All right. So we were above 500 team this time around. Sharp wins most improved. Shout out to our guy. Is he, is, an, is he an untouchable piece in this franchise? I don't know. Our lineup going into the playoffs is Dennis Schroeder. It is uh, Donovan Mitchell, Sharp, Metu, Noel. At one point, we had Ben Simmons. Oh, actually, let me show you real quick how things have changed. And, and some of these trades I could have showed you, but again, it's taking so long. So the Ben Simmons trade happened, right? And then the Bucks offered us Rudy Gobert for Ben Simmons. And then four days later, OG Ananobi and Tim Hardaway Jr. for Rudy Gobert. And then a few days later, OG Ananobi for Josh Richardson in the first. Then a few days, <laughs> a few days later, Rudy Gobert came back to the team. And then two days after that, we shipped Rudy Gobert to the Bulls. So yeah, Rudy Gobert has been traded like six times in this last season. Uh, and a lot of them on our team. So uh, this year, look at we have Donovan Mitchell and a bunch of 70s. I'm gonna say, spoiler alert, we do not get out of the first round. But the fact that Donovan Mitchell, oh, look at that, Braun in a Knicks jersey. The fact that Donovan Mitchell hasn't been traded yet makes me feel so good because we have the Knicks picks, don't we? Dang, the Knicks are that good. They just won a championship. We have their picks. Um, because that that makes me feel like I can trade for another player of his caliber and he would be considered untouchable too. Do we have a pick? The Grizzlies, the Grizzlies, we do not. So we have the Washington pick um, for 2026, but that's it. And then we have our own. I feel like based on what our roster looks like right now, we might have some money. Oh, there is no such thing as money. I mean, yeah, I mean, you get what I'm saying. So my front office can go out there and sign a star if they want it. Oh, fingers across, fingers across, fingers across. Um, I doubt it. I don't know if I've ever in the world where we've had no salary cap and allowed the auto-generated GM to sign somebody. Has he actually signed somebody? So yeah, they didn't spend any money um, at all. Didn't even get an extra 80 on the roster. That's that's fine. All right, so we get one trade. Donovan Mitchell is a free agent this offseason, so that scares me a little bit. Is he excited? Um, if the team is willing, I'm ready to work on an extension. That's great. That's beautiful. Hopefully, y'all get that done. I won't be the one doing it. Uh, I got it. Who are you? Owen Dawson? 18th overall pick from Philly. Man is making the second most money on the roster while being buns. Again, money doesn't exist, but you, you understand what I'm saying. That's a lot of cash. A lot of rebuilding teams. Nobody's going to be selling the first day of the season. We're trying to get Jaron. I will give you this, this fella here, who obviously is really, really, really good. If we're going to get Jaron, we don't need both of these power forwards. I would rather keep Jalen McDaniels. They're going to say no. But that's what we have, the Knicks pick. And that's, I'm giving all the Knicks picks away. Oh, I guess we only had to give up two of the Knicks picks. All right, so there we go. We have Jaron and we have Donovan Mitchell. That is my one trade. Um, we're putting Sharp at the three, bro. Stop playing. Kendall Brown. If you don't get out of here and give this man the most improved player some more minutes, they better quit, quit. Yeah. We got Charles Bass as our starting center. So things are obviously going to be... Bro, are they serious? Kevin Porter Jr. is coming back? See, this is what I mean. I should have... Okay. No rule alert. No rule alert. I'm only... I, I can make the trade anytime I want throughout the season. Because at this point in time, making the trade at the beginning of the season is a death wish. Because nobody's selling. Barely anybody is rebuilding. I'm going to do my trades like two weeks, two months into the season. That's what I'm thinking. You're the wrapped and we didn't make the playoffs at all. Um, So that's kind of cool. Tyler Hero was the best player on a championship team. Tech oh, I guess Dame is still here. He's 87. Tyler Hero's a nine. Oh, no. Tyler Hero and Jalen Brown together were the best player on a championship team. Look at that. It wasn't us. It was not us. Them boys always trying to retire out of nowhere. What, what they be on? Okay. Draft lottery. Grizzlies, Grizzlies, Grizzlies. We have... Our own pick is, we traded our pick, of course. Okay, so we end up with 
pick number 15 from Dallas. So I'm trying to get a guy like Evan Mobley. We had a bunch of draft picks, I guess. And some of these guys, you know, all of these guys are two and a half star value. Um, so that's kind of cool. We can use maybe a few of them in this trade and just take back worse players like this guy, Gary Hodges. We throw them our first round pick. Remember, we missed the playoffs. Oh, they said Emo is untouchable. Not in this video, he ain't. <laughs> Not in this video, he ain't. You best believe it. We don't do that untouchable on Jokic. Nope. All right, Warriors, you no longer have that untouchable piece. And now we can really have a conversation. We can really, really have a conversation now. I got some, I got some stuff for you, my guy. We missed the playoffs, so our pick is going to be valuable. Um, what was it? It was like some of the young pieces. One of these guys we drafted 16th. Sharp, I don't think is going to be able to be traded in this one. I feel like he's a, a stone on our, our team right now. So we won't throw him in. Dude, that's crazy good value. I mean, Evan Mobley's at 94, so I understand what they're saying no. But these three first-round picks are ridiculous right now. So I wonder if I did like Sharp and two of these picks just to see. What if we go get Zion? We give, we give you smalls here we give you uh, uh holland we're gonna keep your then we give you our pick this is this is where things get good the phoenix pick atlanta pick boom z is on the team so we got hayward sharp and mitchell with z and then yurt is down low um it's not a very good team but it's better than what it was last year at least i hope we make it in the playoffs because we traded away our first round pick again this season so I'm just assuming we're going to be a playoff team. We finally have to trade Sharp. I was under the impression that he was going to be here forever. We got Cat in return. Um, didn't Cat play for us in this video? Or was that the video I recorded yesterday? I don't know. Yeah, he did play for us for a season and a half-ish. So that's that was something. He's back, though. And we, get, we got rid of Sharp. So uh, that sucks. But I think Z at a 91 overall is probably... I, don't, I can't confirm it probably going to be good enough to stay in the video if he's not then i'm going to be sad because we gave up a lot to get him and we get in the 80 overall center uh-oh uh-oh we might be leveling up we might be leveling up even though we already had a, a bunch a bunch of center minutes but like a big man whose last name is rodman matter of fact a, if you don't have a 99 rebound oh snap his rebounding numbers are at a plus your his his rebound is 99 to fit. Yo, you cannot make that up. Leo Rodman, he might not be related because I just saw a picture of him and he don't look nothing like Dennis. But the name makes him a good rebounder. We gave up that pick and it might be the number one overall pick. Look at us. <laughs> and we're trading away cat. That's, that's, that's something. And we gave him another pick in that trade. But you know what? Well-roundedness, not a bad team as of right now. But you know, that stuff is always changing. Actually, kind of a big deal happening right now. Cam Johnson, first round pick for Sabonis. Look at that. So after a bunch of different trades, we have RJ Hampton. We have oof, we have uh, Donovan Mitchell, Royce O'Neal, but Z and Sabonis down low. Don't ask me how we defending anything because the answer is I don't know. We're going to start John Isaac. Look at this roster. Don't look bad. We Oh, we did have to trade away Leo Rodman, unfortunately. He didn't last more than two weeks. But when he was here... He grabbed a bunch of boards off the bench. I'll tell you that. Maybe we see him later down the line. But look at the look at the success after we add Saboner to the team, man. You love to see it. He is a winning player. And if we trade, if we have to trade him away, I am going to be upset. Cause we on the wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. It's too good to be true. It's too good to be true. We are on a 12-game win streak right now, y'all. And as soon as I start talking. And as soon as I start talking, bro, Sabonis was so good for us. I mean, he's only averaging 11, I mean, it's almost seven assists for my center. It's pretty, pretty dang on good. I mean, if we get Jared Allen and, and we lose a point guard too, I'm not mad at that trait. We got more defense now around, but we didn't really have um, a point guard. And now we definitely don't. And we got three centers at the back end of our rotation. So please, somebody come take one of these centers away and give us a guard. I said, take one of the centers away. And they did that, and they gave us a wing, but they took away the best center that we had. <laughs> now we got Mark Williams starting, and below again, low key the roster don't look bad. Like like that's a that feels solid, that feels solid. Okay, we back, we back, we back winning games, we back winning games, and there's not gonna be any more trades that are bad for our, us. 
Uh, John Collins, and we got a... I thought that was a point guard. We're trading away Bobby Hayward, who is good for John Collins and Herb Jones. I don't know how they're going to try to run the lineup now. Are we just doing... I'm moving Zion to the three and doing it like this. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, I could run it like this. Have Herb at the two. Yeah. Don't ask us to shoot no jumpers. But yeah, 2K simulation-wise, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to the All-Star break, and I think I like our roster. We're trading Herb Jones for Jaron to come back. We're just adding to the, the plethora of power forwards. But now, we got a power forward that can run center. Again, I tr we have no guard play coming off the bench. Not not a, not a fact, Royce O'Neal, we got to take those minutes away. We got to give Jalen Noel a lot of minutes because he's a shooting guard PG. He's a shooting guard PG. We need, <laughs> we need that ASAP. Okay. But again, and we at the point now where it seems like every single trade is maybe not benefiting us, but it's keeping us like very steady. We're 20 games above 500. Uh, two more centers added to the roster. We're 20 games above 500. And if we keep on this pace... We have a, a world where we can be champions. We need guards, though. Said we needed guards. And we're getting Tyler Hero, who's coming off an NBA championship where he was the finals MVP. So we have finals MVP Tyler Hero on the roster. I mean, we have 390s. We have 390s right now. Fingers crossed that they do not mess up us up. Okay. I said we needed more wings. We're trading Tyler Hero for Brandon Ingram. Hero's averaging 23. Brandon Ingram's averaging 16. What a drop, drop, drop. But he might end up 50-40-90 if he hits all of his free throws for the rest of the season. Is this the year for the Memphis Grizzlies to win it all? We are about to find out. Um, the Timberwolves got the six-man of the year and defense player of the year. Remember, they won a championship last season with Tyler Hero in them. And now they got Giannis. So Giannis just joined a pack of good players and said that this was his time. Donovan Mitchell has been consistently all NBA second team, and he's also there with Z. So we put off a beautiful trade at the beginning of the season to set us up for a potential championship. John Isaac was all defensive team. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, we ended up losing 24 games, but there are four teams that were sub-20 losses in this conference. That means the bottom of the conference had to be terrible. 22-22. Uh, not that bad. 18 for the Milwaukee Bucks. Here we go. We are four seed. I've seen crazy things happen. I've seen... Cra okay, wait. Let's see who we're going against, first of all. We already up 2-0. Um, but it's Shea and Cade and RJ. Wow, that's a young team. But we also like four years in the future. So maybe they ain't that young. We up 3-1. And we get to the second round for the first time in the video. And we're going against one of those sub-20 losses teams. It's Maxi Murray, Bay. Tatum is a 99. Tatum is a 99 in this sim. Oh my God. Okay, Tatum. We lose game one because Tatum is a 99. We lose game two because Tatum is a 99. We win game three because Tatum, he still played like a 99. Oh, I cannot believe he hit the 99 in the overall club. We were not good enough to beat that roster. You, you saw it. That team is stacked. That team was absolutely stacked. Okay, but that's not too bad because I think... If we make the perfect trade for next season, it's over. We can do it. We'll, we'll, we'll win it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we got Cleveland's pick that ends up being ended up being the first overall pick, but it had to be like top five protected. Are you serious? Yo, that is crazy. All right. Well, we're going to go. Hopefully, everybody resigns. And we have a plethora of people. We need to trade so many centers and get like a really, really good wing. Josh Giddy's one of the ultimate setup men in basketball. I'm going to try to go get Josh Giddy. He plays for the Denver Nuggets. And I think I made a trade with the Denver Nuggets earlier. Or I tried to to get Evan Mobley, right? And they were not budging. And I guess he moved on to his next team. So they should have accepted my trade because at least they would have got something. Um, and I guess I'll give you... To start off with, Mark Williams is not as valuable as I thought he was going to be. OJ Burke is three and two and a half star value. And then all some of these other guys. Okay, do we have picks? <laughs> what type of question is that, Kenny? Duh. Cleveland, New York. Mark Williams declined to waive their no trade clause. <laughs> that's that's wild. I mean, he probably see that we about to try to win this championship, so I understand it. I'll, I'll give you I'll give you Patrick Baldwin Jr. instead. 
They say he's a valuable piece, but he's not untouchable. Hornets pick four first round picks for Josh Giddy is done. So the new lineup is Giddy, Mitchell, Ingram, Z, and Mark Williams. You better have the season of your career because you, I wouldn't say prevented us, but you tried to prevent us from getting Josh Giddy. I told you that Brandon wasn't going to last the video, and he's not. Jaron is back for the third time. And with Jaron being back, that means we're moving Z up to the three. And we got an old Bradley Beal, 33. Oh, he's not even that old. He, with that overall, I thought he was like 50. An older Bradley Beal. I mean, the team is really good. Uh, very similar starts to last season. So we'll see. That was the basically the only trade we've done so far. So um, the, the trades have slowed down. We thought he would be safe. Josh Giddy getting traded for an old 32-year-old Joel. He's averaging 18 and 13, bro. He was the perfect point guard. But you know, we got to do what we got to do. We got Now we got, look at this. Look at this team we're running right now. Jaron is gone, but guess what? We're getting a first round pick that we don't care about in this video and an old use of Nurkic. This is supposed to be our year. It's supposed to be our year and here we are struggling. I actually love this trade. Um, Joel and V for Chet. And Chad is only 24 years old, and you're giving me a pick? Come on, man. Stop, stop playing with him. Stop playing around. We, we know what we got to do. Okay, so that makes you smile a little bit more um, now that we got Chet on the roster. I don't think I hate this trade. We get back Rob, who's a two overall difference, and we also get in Desmond Bain. I mean, Chet is really the real deal, but, like, now we have 93, 89, 93, 88. It's no reason for me to be super excited about it because obviously with a week left in basketball, some something's going to happen and one of these people are going to get traded. And Jaron is back for the fifth time in this video. And now we don't have a point guard, but Donovan Mitchell is the point guard. Duh. All right, man. All right. This might be the year. Just get, get us through this week without another tr Oh, Oh, oh. Jalen Brunson is on the roster now for Jaron. Again, peace out, Jaron. So we got Brunson, Mitchell, and Bain. 6'5", 6'1", and 6'1", right? 6'2", and 6'1". And then 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> and then 6'... We have a small, small lineup. But hey, look at that. 6'11", off the bench. 6'8", off the bench. Another well, seven-footer and then some more bigs. Last day. No trades. And we lost. That is not a good sign. Here we go. All right. So this could be the year, ladies and gentlemen. Kendall Brown, who was on our roster earlier this season, uh, is, is now averaging 18 points per game. The Grizzlies, Memphis, Memphis. Ooh. Ooh. No Dono. The disrespect to Donovan Mitchell is crazy. That's fine. We have the four seed again. 17 losses is the four seed in his universe? Oh, man. All right, we got to put together the perfect lineup. I'm actually going to try to win this season. So that means, like, taking away Nurkic's minutes because we don't need another big. Probably give... Who are you? Small forward? What do you do well? Shoot the midi. Can you defend? Well below average defender. We But we need wing play. 6'4 and 6... Whoa. How tall are you? 6'8. At least THT can defend. Am I giving minutes to THT? I think I am. I think THC is getting some minutes on this because we need to win. Um, and we just need wing minutes at the end of the day. I'm just going to take some minutes away from the down people down here just a little bit and give it up to, to our star players. Give it up to our star players and let them work their magic. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. OKC is the 5C. Let's see who they have on their roster. Oh, my. Luca and Jimmy and Jalen Green. Why is everybody like really, 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 and pass? How did I look past Pascal? How's everybody really, really, really good? Game, oh man. I thought this was gonna be the year. Oh man, my heart. Oh my god. Game seven. Thank you. I, I did not want to simcast it because I didn't want to go through that in case we were losing and we win. Okay. Now we're going against the Utah Jazz. I don't know who's on their roster, but I'm assuming they're... Oh, yeah. This is the Cade Shea backcourt. Elite. Elite. Here we go. Game one. The one thing they got over us is they, they have a big lineup in comparison. Shade and Cade are both big guards. And we got two small guards. And a loss. <laughs> and the loss, bro. Scotty Barnes and Cade Cunningham in the finals. Okay, Cade sweeps them, and just like that, 
we're just in the superior, the way superior conference. If we was out east, we'd be winning no prop. But out west is crazy. We got the third overall pick and the sixth overall pick in this year's draft. Beautiful. I, I can't use them personally, but whoever we draft, if they not 80 plus, I'm trading them away. They better have good potential. I'm trading them away. They signed KD. He's 39. Yo, Kevin Durant is on our roster at 39. We moving him over to the three. Uh, moving him over to the three. Yeah, yeah. We're about to. We're doing something. We need to do a big splash, and this has to be the season. Um, Josh Giddy, I'm adding you back to my list, bro. I think Josh Giddy is the perfect point guard for what we're trying to do. And he's still on the rebuilding team. So Josh Giddy's the guy that we're probably going after. Josh Giddy plays for the Hornets. So let's go get him. We will give you the young player that we drafted. Three-star value to y'all. And this guy who we also drafted. They say no. Um, we'll also give you this guy. No, he's not valuable. We'll give you a pick from us. We'll give you a pick from the Nuggets. Boom! Josh Giddy's back. Josh Giddy is back. And just like that, we had a star lineup of Giddy, Mitchell, Durant, Williamson, and Williams. Off the bench, we have Brunson, we have Turner. We got a well-rounded roster, in my opinion. And now we sip. The day has come to tell Zion goodbye. Uh, he's shooting 72% and he's hitting threes this season. But we have to tell him to goodbye because Tyler Hero and Benedict Matherin are coming to the team. And that sucks because we already traded... Um, uh, Robert Williams so like our front court play is bad we traded all the way to get that to get Josh Giddy, and Josh Giddy doesn't even play for us like a start for us I'm gonna change that up actually I'm putting Giddy at the one KD moving down to the four Donovan is I guess a Tyrese is a three because he's tall or no Giddy's the three because he's tall I don't know I'm just hoping that a trade comes along and fixes our too many guards, we don't lose <laughs> as we lose two in a row. Because we don't have any bigs. Go get go go get a big or something. Oh my god, on cue. Robert, we ain't mean to trade you away, bro. On God, we ain't mean to trade you away. That was an accident. Welcome back to the start of the lineup, my boy. And yeah, we're gonna keep doing this and let Giddy run our show because he does that. And just like that, Z is back, baby. I hate to trade you, Reese, but we still had a surplus over at that point guard position. And our team is feeling solid still. We we don't lose a lot of games still. We got about a month left of the season. And this could be the year. The way it's going, this could be the year. Oh, my God. Trading away Zion with three weeks left in basketball is an all-time L. But you got to accept. You got to accept, man. All right. Couple weeks left. Couple weeks left. We out of here, man. Last days, no trades. Okay. Here we go. It is the year 2028. There was a team out there that lost 11 games. Is that us? Was that us? Oh, it was us. <laughs> this is our year. We had an eight-game difference between us and the second seed. This is beautiful. Okay, I don't even know who's on our roster. Let's quickly check real quick. It is Giddy, Mitchell, Durant, Johnson. I'm going to start Herb. Oh, that's Mikhail. Okay, both really good off the... Okay, all right. This is the championship team. 1,000%. This is the championship team. First round, we're going against the Dallas Mavericks. Sweep those boys. Okay, the Golden State Warriors. This is where we start to respect our opponent because they have Luca. They have Luca, Jaden Ivey, Kendall Brown, who's a, a, like really, really good nowadays, Evan Mobley, and Joel Embiid. How? Why does everybody have their own version of a God Squad in 2028? We're down 2 0. -oh. We're down 3 1. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You know what? I will, ooh, I, I will do whatever is, it takes. I'm going to fire you and bring in Jake, Jacob Underwood. Jacob Underwood, welcome to the team as the head coach. All right, Jacob. There we go. We win that one by almost 20. Giddy was looked at to be a playmaker, but really coming through with scoring. Force a game seven. Do I want a Simcast game seven? I'm afraid. Just jump into it and we win. You fire your head coach in the playoffs. It'll work out 100% of the time. Now we're going to get this Tatum team, right? 99 Tatum. They got Book. Zion is on the team. The revenge tour for Z. So they got four 90s. We got three 90s and the 88. Here we go. Game one is a win for the Grizz. Yes, sir. Game two. See, they look at their rotation compared to ours. They got too many people playing. That's the secret. They got too many people playing. They got too many people playing. Uh-oh. There we go. We're in the finals for the first time in the video. 
Scotty Barnes and them have been running it up out west. They have Cat, who used to be on the team. Sadiq Bey used to be on the team, I think. But Scotty and them has been hooping. We're better. I legit think the Eastern Conference is not nearly as tough as, as the Western Conference. Yeah. Oh, stop it. Stop it. We had five teams out here, out west. That would have been the one seed out east. Five. Yeah. The cakewalk. Championship. One. Blouses. We win these series. We win these series. And Josh Giddy traded for you twice for good reason, my boy. And Katie gets that, that last championship. I'm assuming he's going to retire. Watch he ride off to the sunset. What a career from Kevin. Can we get a round of applause for Kevin? You're too good. <laughs> he was too good. He, he was still a 90. I'm not letting him retire. What was that? Six seasons? Seven seasons? We finally got it done. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.